before I go any further, I found something. It's back. I'm so happy I found it. Yes, the lady who is auditioning to be the next Mrs. Trump uh, has elevated her position. Apart from being a pretty below average lawyer, she's now an official Trump spokesperson, which means she gets to appear on a Fox News and Newsmax, just buttering the backside of her former employee. Uh, mm. So, you know, you walk in and it's really actually something surreal. You feel like you're in the twilight zone. Today, I walked in and the first person that caught my eye was everybody from Greg Kelly on the right to George Conway on the left, Caitlin Collins sitting there. And, you know, I, I appreciate that they all want to act journalistic in those moments. I'm sitting there and I'm looking, but they're snarking and it's a very strange uh, feeling. So it's like a you do have to feel sorry for her parking lot have her she had her opportunity and she's now in a position where i suspect more people have more respect for stormy daniels than they do for yabba dabba do it's unbelievable and when anything salacious happens all you hear is the clicking of you know the keyboards but when wow. actual law and facts are discussed it's uh, i do have a suggestion by the way for alina yabba dabba do if she's so uh, upset with the current uh, situation in court perhaps she should become the defense counsel and um, while she's at it uh, she well, she can always uh, cite uh, melania trump's early modeling career if she's not very happy with the whole stormy daniels picture it's a very strange thing does the it's judge surreal. seem like he's in control of the courtroom uh he is definitely commanding you can tell that he is outspoken you can tell that he has an opinion in front of a jury do i think it's appropriate no you have a jury you have to be very careful of how much you interrupt how much you condemn one side over the other but i've seen this myself they don't care they care about swaying them and that's one way to sway a jury just because you have a jury doesn't mean that the judge doesn't show control and push them towards the right direction and the jury's engaged they're paying attention to the facts sometimes i think with the the last testimony I saw some giggles obviously and um, I don't want to speak too much of it, about a jury sitting on a trial. Good you on in America just going through the last 24 hours of what's got on in the the Trump crazy crazy world and if you hate Fox News this place is for you. Um, Laura Ingraham is a bit upset with the word orange turd. If I say to you well is there any other suggestion if I say to you the word orange turd what is your first thoughts? Mine as well. You notice that Anderson Cooper really seemed to relish saying orange turd. How many times did he say it? We, well, we didn't have the drinking game going, but we might as well have. Orange turd, orange turd, orange turd. That's turd. right. That's how Donald Trump's day went today. The woman he has paid more money to than any woman he hasn't married, criminal defense attorney Susan Necklace, repeatedly called her client Donald Trump the orange turd on what she thought was an effective cross-examination of Stormy Daniels. So imagine Donald Trump sitting in that courtroom today, slumped in his chair, leaving his eyes closed for long stretches, being forced to listen with eyes closed or eyes open to one of his criminal defense lawyers on whom he has lavished money, money provided by his political contributors, Listen to her repeatedly call him the orange turd. And Donald Trump is, of course, the most vain human being who has ever entered that courthouse. Uh, need your help before we continue with Ingraham. I could use Google, but I'll rely on you. Uh, can somebody in the comment section tell me what shrew means? Does it apply to Melania Trump? Because she's been pretty busy. Looking at our first lady like that and having that image. The New York Post calls it the Oval Office. And Minaj, a Trump. Oh, yeah. A Trump spokesman is also defending the racy photos. Their uh, celebration of uh, the human body uh, is ours. Now, at various points in her two days on the stand and in other exhibits entered into evidence, Daniels comes across as not only an angry shrew, but an angry shrew who's also an extortionist. Uh, this case is attracting all of the huge, big legal experts, all of those who know so much about the law, you could fit it all onto the prick of a pin and still have 99% of circumference space left. Uh, here's wine box. I'll tell you, Laura, this woman, there's something off about her. There really is. She so everything about this was a lie. And I'll tell you what was most interesting, too. 
was that she started off by saying, I was in 200 porn films and I also directed and acted in another 150. And you're saying to yourself, this is a star witness. Where exactly is Rick Scott uh, in charge? Where is he the big boss? Because wherever it was, uh, clearly didn't matter today because he rocked up to court to whinge and whine. Why was he there? Anybody? Comment section, please, because I'm clueless. No. Did it have anything to do with the gang order you being here today? No, I'm fed up. I watched what happened to, to me and my company. I've watched what's happened. I, I've, I've talked to business. Apologies for interrupting Dick Scott mid sentence, but he did mention something there, and I think, oh, we should just go back in history. Then we'll go back to the garbage he was talking about. It is one of the biggest criminal investigations of an American corporation ever. We're executing a search warrant. In the past few months, hundreds of federal agents have raided at least 70 of Columbia's hospitals and offices in seven states. Rick Scott promised explosive growth to shareholders, but to insiders, Rick Scott could be ruthless. They seem to care more about profits than medicine. Good old fashioned fraud lying for money. Over the last decade, Columbia has made its stockholders and executives rich. The company um, cheated the Medicare program and they knew what they were doing. Regularly filing false Medicare reports and overcharging the government. It's charging the government for everything from Kentucky Derby tickets to country club memberships. False claims submitted to the government year after year over the course of hundreds of hospitals. Their promotions depended on it. Their bonuses depended on it. For-profit hospital chain HCA, formerly called Columbia HCA, will plead guilty to criminal conduct. $745 million to settle charges of fraud in Medicare billing. Rick Scott and five other top corporate executives have resigned. And federal investigators told ABC News today that Scott is now considered a prime target of the investigation. Scott could not be reached for comment. These people over the years, what's happened to them when you have political persecution, and now what I've watched what President Trump has done with all these cases. This is just simply, they don't, they don't want this guy on the ballot. I mean, they... I'm no medical person, but I do make a diagnosis with uh, Lara Trump. She has hearing problems. Nepo Trump never hears herself. Barack Obama, Joe Biden, now Hillary Clinton saying something to, to the effect of if, tr if Trump loses, he will not accept the, the results. Is that coordinated? I think isn't it all coordinated? Isn't all of this stuff coming from one place? Uh, it's pretty obvious that Donald Trump does accept election results, even despite the fact that it was uh, a very questionable election in 2020, because Joe Biden is unfortunately sitting in the Oval Office today. What Donald Trump and she says something which for me is this goes to the root of all of it. Carrie Lake, whichever put Marjorie Taylor Greene, whichever person you want to mention, it's kind of like. Um, I win, but only if I win by my way. If you lose, I win. If you lose, uh, something's wrong. Uh, there is no possible way that you can lose. I have to win. Basically, uh, she, who is she at the end of the day to turn around and say, uh, of course she's going to accept the result as long as he wins. It's just, this is not democracy and there's no push back ever of course lara trump doesn't actually go to uh, anywhere where she's going to be challenged it's not like somebody's suddenly going to say uh, spell your name lara uh he fos yes. if i feel like this is a fair election if i feel like you guys didn't interfere in any way like they are obviously trying to do with all these bogus cases against him then no problem i'm happy to accept the results of the election the tr i never know whether it's projection or dumbness or both uh you remember katie Britt? she of the soft voice of the uh the stated the union return uh, she's back and um do you know why there is a reason why uh people who watch fox have to vote for trump you're going to be a bit surprised and truly sean this is why we need president trump back in the white house he will bring common sense he understands the values this nation was built on and he knows that he will he will not bend to the woke mob <laughs> He will let our children be children. He will let them grow and thrive and learn uh, to, to, to stand for the flag. To may love this God bless and you. And to be who and they are. And may God continue. Go woke, go broke. Yeah, look, I, I'm voting for Joe Biden because I want to beat Donald Trump, right? Not voting for somebody or writing somebody else's name in does not do what we need to get done, and that's to beat Donald Trump. And yes, it's intense. I mean, just, you know, go, go look at my social media, go look at the names that they call my family, go, you know, have the conversations around my kitchen table with folks being vile and visceral around. I mean, look, this, this, this feels, uh, you know, un-American for somebody to attack somebody just because of, of who they're going to vote for. I should never do that as a Republican. Somebody should never do that as a Democrat. But that's the spot we're in. Donald Trump has confused and, and, and hijacked this Republican Party, or at least an element of it. A new Quinnipiac poll shows that president is now up six points in Wisconsin, which... 
There are two things. There's a scenario of mishearing something, and then there's AI. Actually, there's a third thing where somebody straight up calls. Well, in England, if you can Google this, there's a oh, sorry, there's a word called W A N K E R. Eric Bolin has a whole new way to pronounce it. You sure you want to debate Donald Trump? I mean, there are stages littered with political careers everywhere in the aftermath of people wanting to debate Donald Trump. The guy's a master debater. Without- International news now at Fox. I do not know if the uh, person you're about to see is a foreign correspondent, but I can tell you one thing. They clearly are, well, I'll be totally honest with you, clueless on geography, like clueless. Because as far as, well, have a listen. Trump warns that the far left is a far greater threat to America than any foreign adversary. I'll tell you why we agree. That's it. I suppose the job of a politician is to say dumb, silly stuff and hope that somebody on cable news will then uh, echo chamber it. And in these days, it's obviously then picked up by social media. Uh, Speaker Johnson, who has enough problems of his own, is now going along with this Trump narrative because you know what's going to happen. It's a bit like the wall. They're going to round up at uh, 11 million people and boot them out of America. 11 million. And Speaker Johnson is all on board. Speaker, lastly, the President of the United States, the former president who wants to be the next president, said one of his plans is, he talked to Time Magazine, is to round up the 11 to 15 million illegals and then go through them and find out who belongs here and who doesn't. Would you support that? Absolutely. And President Trump and I have talked about this at length, but the challenge we'll have is finding them, Brian. As you know, they've been spread out everywhere. DHS, the Department of Homeland Security, and Mayorkas, the reason we impeached him, is because he's an abject failure and they're not keeping track of where these people are. So we will have the greatest challenge of, of our generation to try to find right. them, to round them up first. And, and that's a very serious problem. Well, yeah. we know where the hotels are. We could point you there. We could help in New There's York that. City. There's yeah. that. 16 million number that, that you said under Biden. Somebody who thoroughly is enjoying the uh, Trump in court fiasco and has treated himself to a new suit is George Conway. I was that the continued cross-examination of Stormy Daniels was a complete disaster and a fiasco for the defense. I mean, uh, as... Because as it was Ellie, a rabbit hole they didn't need to go it down? It just was just... It just went on and on and didn't... She, they didn't have anything on her. And you, you got to confine crosses to basically several, a, a few short lines of, of, of stuff that's good. They didn't do that. I think what happened was they had a day off and Necklace is a very good lawyer by reputation. I can, you can tell just by the way she conducted herself. She knows how to cross-examine a witness and knows how to ask questions. But she was, she's, her client is a narcissistic sociopath and who is obsessed with proving the lie that he didn't have anything to do with Stormy Daniels. There is something, as far as I see it, that's quite interesting about this case because it always will come down to how the jurors see it. Uh, George Conway isn't doing what Trump is doing. Trump is doing all of this uh, projection like, uh, oh, can he have time off to go to uh, Barron's graduation, uh, asking the judge for a mistrial and that his gag order should be released. He's going to um, testify. It's all rubbish because it comes down to the jury. And uh, interestingly enough, George Conway uh, has a little bit of an insider for us here. And so they went off on this whole tangent on basically it doesn't it does in, in a lot. It, the defense's position should be it doesn't really matter whether that happened or not, because even if it was extortion money, um, you know, it, it, even if it was extortion money, it still could be a crime. But he, we're trying to prove something that happened didn't happen is just it's just counterproductive. And, and it was it just got to the point of ridiculousness where she's asking uh, uh, a stormy about basically a map of South Lake Tahoe, Nevada, to figure out whether or not she was walking in her heels one block or two, where she took a cab. It was just garbage, and it was embarrassing. And to the point where, you know, if you control the witness you, by keeping your cross simple and short, you can control the witness. But the longer you go, the more the witness can pop off at you. And this woman is way smarter than. Necklace's client, and she got some really good. I mean, I thought I saw jurors at some point trying to do what I was trying to do, which was suppress laughter um, at some of the at some of the shots that Stormy got into um, uh, got in into the record. 